Well, I'm going to tie here is a white cat booby that I caught the biggest fish on the lake of my teeth with, and I've caught heaps of heaps of fish with it. It's a B175 size 10 UTC 140 thread. Now I'm using the 140 as I said before when if you've looked at the video about the booby eyes because it sits flat and it doesn't cut through the the booby eyes the, the foam. So I'm just going to trim this quickly. Because if you've looked at the other video, you'll know how to do the the booby eyes. Okay, just trimming that off. Catch the booby eye in. Okay, um, need to go a little bit more left. Yep, catch it in again, and again, and then again. Okay, a little bit of varnish on there. Don't need too much. Wrap it round, keep it going, and it'll stop. Just catch it in four or five turns either side. It's a fantastic fly. And the reason I'm not super gluing the eyes is because a lot of people complain that the booby spins when they're pulling it, and it's because the eyes are so rigid and super glued. That will happen, and what also happens with that is, is that it will melt the the, 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 the booby eyes. Now, I've taken the thread down to the bend. What I'm going to do is just use my marabou. Now, some people say this is why my booby is so successful. It's because the marabou has got the blue kick off of it. Off of it, it's a spring water blue marabou. And I've kept it on the stock. Reason for that is it easier. It's easier to work with. So, cut two pieces off, fold it over, then actually bend the stock in two and if I'm going to, I don't cut the marabou, what I do is I rip it so I'm going to slide it forward, catch it between my two fingers and just pull and you get a nice even finish and it doesn't look like one of those flies that have been tied in Kenya or whatever or with a straight edge marabou now I've caught that in and I've deliberately tied it so that the, the marabou is right up against the booby eyes so that I'm going to get an even sized body take it back down to the bend so perfect now the chenille I'm using is cat green bo uh, booby chenille it's actually a chenille you can use fritzes and stuff as well but I use a danville chenille because it's nice and soft and I really like the colour I'll just catch that in I think it makes all the difference. The overall fly wouldn't be the same with a different chenille. Two, three, four, five turns. Catch it in. And all I've done there was I wound the thread round the contours of the booby eye, just as I was tying it in. So trim it off. Right, just straighten the eyes up a little bit because this is when we're going to. The eyes will basically be almost fixed in position when we do the wing. Do the same, white marabou, spring water blue. Trim off more this time. So we've got about an inch. Pull it forward. Bend the stock. Straighten it all out. Catch it and rip. Right, now, this is the important part. I'm basically lining it up, tail to wing, bits of marabou fluffing about there. Now I'm quite happy with that. Now what I've done deliberately is I've caught it with my thumb and my index finger on my right hand. I'll then catch it with the same two fingers on my left hand and they're touching. So that then lets me know where I want to trim it. So I've trimmed it off so I know I've got the right length so I don't even have to look at the wing anymore. The whole idea is so that you're not getting marabou falling apart and fluffing about everywhere. Now just push the eyes forward slightly, catch it in with three or four turns, and there we go. Just take thread through the eyes again, and what finish? Two bit finishes. I won't varnish this fly. There's no point. Just make sure you're happy with the wing. I'm happy. If it's an international fly, I'll just trim it 
just to make sure that it's in size of the rules. But there we go. White cat booby catches fish static, pulled. I mean, I've actually had fish, rising fish, feeding fish, cast it in front of them, leave it, and they come up and take it. That's how the big fish took it. Uh, fantastic fly. Now, whether it's a marabou, the fritz, the chenille, but just overall, it's a great fly.